Today, I believe we still have about seven or eight aerators pumping little by little oxygen back. Uh, the normal level of oxygen in, in that sustains life in these water systems is about, I believe, five milligrams per liter. The oxygen in New River actually fell to 0 0.1 in those affected areas. Uh, we, begin, we began to see immediately a turn for the better with the aerators. Uh, now that the rains are coming, things are, are getting, back, getting back to normal. Um, but the problem cannot be eliminated just like that. We need to look at a long-term solution, and that's where the task force is coming in, trying to develop a long-term management plan to tackle, to anticipate the problems that we have up there. Uh, we don't have any data for the new river. And so one of the first things we are embarking upon is getting a full-scale bathymetric study of the entire riverbed. We need to understand the sediments that have accumulated there over the past 30, 40, 50 years. As we do our research, we begin to understand that way from the times that uh, we had men cutting lagwood in vast quantities, they used to coat the, the lagwood with, I believe it was aldrin or something like that. Um, and so all those chemicals are somewhere along the sediment of the New River. Where we, we might need to go in and dredge in certain key spots, but the bathymetric study will allow us to better understand that, better understand where the sediments are that we need to dredge, but we need to also understand what the sediment composition is before we even try to touch it. And I'm not saying we will dredge. Chances are we probably won't need to dredge. It might be too risky. But what I'm trying to say is we are approaching this problem comprehensively, systematically, to try to understand the key causes of pollution, and then we will tackle that going forward. I am confident that we will come out of this very unfortunate incident stronger than we were before. And the task force meeting yesterday, someone suggested, and I agree with them fully, that we are on a path here to establish a management plan and to really get a hold of this problem in such a way that in the end, this will probably serve as an example uh, to help guide us whenever we have these challenges occurring at other places across the country.